In August of 2016 in Michigan, everything changed for me when that same man did something that I believe will forever be recorded in black history as a turning point for our community. That Republican candidate got on stage, he boldly looked black America straight in the face and he asked us, what do you have to lose? The courage of that moment, the courage for a man to challenge us to look around at our communities and to just acknowledge it, to be real, to be honest with ourselves, to acknowledge the filth of our communities and our inner cities, to acknowledge the state of our broken culture, our broken school system. He forced us to stop accepting excuses. Every single person that is standing in this room stands here because at some point, we had the courage to set our pride aside and to realize that for the first time in decades, we had somebody who was telling us the truth. And he just kept on telling it all around the country, dropping bars. Honestly, Trump might be my favorite rapper right now. <laughs> my favorite moment of his campaign was he said, only Rosie O'Donnell, only Rosie O'Donnell. Only our 45th president. Donald J. Trump, and I'm gonna tell you what I love about him. I get that question all the time, Candace. What do you love about Donald Trump? What I love about Donald Trump most is his audacity. The audacity that it took to stand up and look black America in the eye. The audacity that it takes to call out these crooked black Democrat politicians that have received billions, billions in aid from our government and effectively stolen it from the struggling cities that they represent. The audacity to call out Elijah Cummings, the audacity to call out Maxine Waters, who lives, by the way, in a $6 million home outside of her own district. <laughs> President Donald Trump has both the spine and the audacity to save black America. It takes, it takes a lot of guts and we all know this. When you wake up as a black American and you realize the truth and you have the courage to speak out about it, the racist leftist media will attack you. CNN is a racist network, in my opinion. I've watched them over the past year sanction the violence of Antifa against black conservatives. They have referred to all of us last year in the same exact room. CNN referred to all of us as paid puppets. They said we were paid to be in this room. because they cannot fathom that we would ever have the courage to stand up and to tell them no more. No more victim narrative, CNN. No more victim narrative, MSNBC. No more telling us that we cannot do something because of the color of our skin. No more fear politics. No more attempts to scare us into voting for you. No more lies, no more half-truths. They attack the one president that has done the absolute most for black America than any president in American history because they are scared. And I'll tell you what they're scared of. They are scared of no longer being able to control us. They are scared that we are actually waking up to everything that they have done to us. It was Clarence Thomas, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas in 1991 who warned us against what the Democrats and the media would do to black people like us. This is what he said, quote, this is a circus. It's a national disgrace. And from my standpoint, as a black American, it is a high tech lynching for uppity blacks who in any way deign to think for themselves, to do for themselves, to have different ideas. And it is a message that unless you kowtow to an old order, this is what will happen to you. You will be lynched, you will be destroyed, you will be caricatured rather than hung from a tree. How right was Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas in the treatment of black Americas today? It is a national disgrace. But let them continue. Let them continue their attacks on free thinking blacks. It's not going to, going to stop us in any way from supporting this administration, from supporting people like our honorable Vice President Mike Pence, who is finally talking about God again on the national stage. President Trump views us as Americans. And the answer, of course, to that question is that we had absolutely nothing to lose from taking a chance on him, and now we're winning. We want Trump, we want the Victor narrative, we want opportunities, we want to be viewed as Americans first and foremost. And you know, I rarely give him credit, but maybe 
Former President Barack Obama said it best in his Harvard Law School paper when he wrote, the American dream is to be like Donald Trump. We want the American dream.